Hi, it's time to do some grade two ear tests. This is from the Australian Music Examinations Board, AMEB. And uh, please have done the preliminary and first grade videos first and have them checked out with a, um, with a good musician, preferably a music teacher who will be able to explain things to you um, and check that you got things right. Okay. Second grade has three sections, rhythm, melody and pitch. And let's go. You're going to clap this back. I'll do it again. So the answer would be... Right. And you noticed I came in straight at the end of when I'd played it. So you want to keep the... Da, go, da, da. So don't wait and think about it, just straight in. Um, here's another one we'll do together. I'll play it again. Right, and here's some. Oh, so while you were listening, like we did on the in grade one, um, so in the the first listening, you can be trying to clap along just slightly behind what's happening, and the next time make it as big as you can, because the body remembers long notes and the short ones without making any noise. So as long as you're you know, you can, you can do these tiny little things and it won't be counted as a clap. And remember to do a nice musician's clap, not that and not, not that big, loud, high frequency thing. Okay, um, here we go. Here's some for you and I won't know if you've done it right. I'll play it again. Should have sounded like this. Ba -da 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 -da. Now, for some people, it's easier for them to remember the melody roughly than to just isolate it as rhythm. And I'm one of those people. So it's easier for me to sort of sing it in my head and clap to what I'm singing. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'm doing that in my head as I'm giving that back. Here's an, but that's not for everybody. You've got to find your own tricks. <laughs> that half the musicians are using. Here's another. Play it again. Please mind the dog. Okay. Um... Now I won't help you with the next ones, so I really, really won't know how you've gone. Oh. Did that work out for you? Well done. <laughs> I like that wrong note, right? Okay, here we go. Well done. Okay, we're on to melody. To hum or sing a short phrase played twice by the examiner, combining melody and time. The easiest way is to be singing this on the very first listening on a hum. So there's these little sort of half rules that if you do that in an examination room, officially you can't be heard. 
It's really, you know, real under humming, right? And then the second time you sing it more firmly and try to sing it at the same time as it. And you sing back on la. La, 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 la. And I bet lots of people would get that fourth wrong because we don't often leap in fourths. Um, so you keep going and it's about uh, melody and rhythm and so don't stop, don't go backwards, just keep pressing through. We'll, sc- we'll still score you a, a good bunch of notes on la. A good bunch of marks, that was it. Okay, here's another one. Good. Open your mouth when you sing la. You'll need to know some basic singing to do these, to get through the ear tests. So um, uh, to open your mouth and to get used to singing is part of it. In a nice, firm voice, which on me would sound like la, 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 la. Because you don't want the exam to go, sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you do it again? Because now it's more time in between it. Um, here is another. Right, and by second grade, about half of the examples um, start on a note that is different to the finishing note. So that's different to grade one. Um, it's not all the time. For instance, this next one I'm going to play is the same. And you start on the... So when it's over to you, you know the last note you just heard, you've got to come in at. So there's only, you only get to hear it once, for instance, on this one that we were just doing, the difference between the last note and the first note. You'll only hear that once the difference between that and... Okay, here's two where I won't know how you went. That is so unmusical they wouldn't do it in the exam. They'd go right past that one. It's meant to be in C major. Just feels wrong, doesn't it? Let's go on to another one. You might have got that right. Well done. The dog wants me to let him out. <laughs> and he's Again, not a very musical example. So um, they tend to be pretty nice in exams. Do the ones. All right. On to our first interesting pitch one. You'll get two notes that will either be a perfect fifth or a third apart, like that one, and you get asked to sing the higher or the lower note. So at the beginning while we're learning it, we sing both notes. And normally you can hear the upper note first. Yeah, sing that for me. 
Good. And can you figure out if it's a third or a fifth away? It's a fair way away. La, la. Here's another one. This is a third. Sing top note first. You might have gone to sing the tonic first. Sometimes when you go to sing the top note, you are in fact singing the bottom note. La, and then you try to sing the bottom note and you get lost and you get a bit worried. And, uh, and so that's okay. This is training your ear. La, la. If you're lucky, the examiner will bring out the note that they want more. Sing me the top note first. Can you hear the bottom note? La, middle C, that's good. Here's a high one. Your piano needs a tune. Top note. La, bottom note. La. I sang it when I did that. All right. Sing me the, sing me both, sing me the top note first. And the bottom note. I hope it's right, I can't check. Top note first. Good, do a couple more. Always hear the top note first. And so even if asked for the bottom note, for the lower note, then you're going to check out the top note first, then sing the lower. <laughs> I know, just a minute. Did I make that obvious? <laughs> well done. Okay, so if you know your way around the piano, then you'll be able to do some of those fifths and thirds and, um, and that would be great practice for you. Well done. Check that out with your uh, teacher or me or um, any other music teacher. And once you've passed that adequately, then it's on to third grade. Well done.